have a team playing its inaugural game tonight within the EA Sports Hockey League. This should be fun. The Bears get possession, and we are underway. Takes it in from the neutral zone. The Sharks skate it up on the side. Looking to Madano. Steals that pass at center. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. The Sharks are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. The Bears have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. This is a power play earned in a scoreless game. Their power play can now get them on the board and give them a lead. Knocked off the puck. Cut that pass in his own end. What a hit! This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. Got in the way of that one. Good grab again. He left his feet, but not on his own, and not by choice. That's going to take the intensity of this game to another level. Passing one off now. It's one on one. What's the call? Penalty shot. Boy, the defending player really worked so hard to come all the way back. All he needed to do was take another stride or two. He might not have been called for the penalty shot on the tripping infraction. Oh, he's shown us quite a bit on that move, didn't he? Off, try to generate something. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Puck cover. A little under four minutes played here in the first. No goals to report yet. Good offensive zone win. The Sharks lug the puck in their own end. Pass attempt to Wilkinson. That one went offside. And they've won the faceoff. Trying to go to Ponick. The Bears skated up on the side. That puck's loose. Good defense. Alfredson's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Well, I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. That one's fired back out, and so more time will go off the penalty clock. It's still in during this power play. And the puck goes back out to center ice, and so everything will have to get reset. This penalty kills the power play. Brooks gets his name on the penalty sheet, a tripping minor. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. That faceoff is one. That didn't go like he wanted. Shoots one off the crossbar. The Bears carrying it in their own end. Drives that pass on. Oh, one of the best saves you'll ever see. John Ellowell's trying for the neutral ice. Swipe that one at center ice. Take it to the slot. A shot. Great point blank save. The shooter thought. Score! A short hand. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. And the faceoff's won. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? The Bears fire one and it got the post. That's a sickening sound for a shooter. That puck is delivered perfectly. It just hits the post and stays up. Perfect wrister. Got his pad on that one. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. 
The Sharks through the neutral zone accelerate to the line. Free puck now. He shot him right down. Still has control up the wing. Gains that offensive line. Puck loose now picked up. Oh, broke it up. Ricochets it ahead to Matthews. A hit that can make you mad. He got steamrolled there in the open ice. Thought he had more room to slide by. But the road got closed in a hurry. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Tripped up on the play and there will be a penalty. Matano's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. The power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and bucks to the net. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. Well, the power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Rister. Oh, a near miss. He's got to do a better job at hitting the net. Why? Ponick's got to shovel it out of there. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Got to be smart with this puck, because he's getting harassed here. Flings it. Great save. He scores! Special team, a special goal. Over five minutes still to play in this period. And so on that goal, the lead is now two. It's a face-off win. It may not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Propelled to right. Gains the zone. Solid work there by Alfredson. Snapping a pass to Madonna. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Reads the play and keeps it. Sometimes when you're behind, you press to make a good play. See if you can do something to help your team get back in the game. The Sharks get another power play chance here. Let's see what happens this time. Well, on this power play, they cannot be as high risk as they were earlier when they gave up that shorthanded goal. Quick wrister. Just missed the net. That's what I would call a great A scoring chance, but the shot just missed the target. Nice face-off work. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. The Sharks have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Solid clean win. Puck is thrown to Matthews. Alfredson's looking to leave. Outstanding body contact. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. He had high hopes. So did he. Knocked off the puck. Shot. Big point. He shot that in his own net. It's a goal. What an embarrassing play. I don't know what he's thinking. What on this green earth? Is he thinking he shot the puck in his own net? <laughs> Face off win, and now what will they do with it? A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Each hit is one little step in the right direction to trying to gain the momentum and to keep it. Each team has tried to be as aggressive as possible this period. The Bears power play unit, good sometimes, not others, and this was one of the others. I don't know if they can continue to run this power play out as much as they do the way that they've had production throughout the last little while. They got a goal earlier in the game, but after that, they've looked really uncertain about where the puck needs to go, and they haven't been able to capitalize at all. Hey fans, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six game ticket packets today.
will be raised and possibly answered as we have a team making its debut in the EASHL. Period two is underway. Intercepted it in no man's land. Around it again. Fantastic shutdown. Loose puck, the defense got in the way of it. Just couldn't make it. In that defensive zone, an important play. Gathered up by Ponick. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Wilkinson's going to the box, and the call is tripping. A power play that can generate goals is special, and this one has been. Let's see if it continues. By himself! Score! Great opportunity and finished by the penalty killers. The Sharks have done well to get this game tied. Still lots of time left. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Chip to Madano. Gathered up again by Alfredson. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. Good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. A slot wrister. Oh, what a hit. And there is a code for these things. Play stopped. Penalty coming. Power play done. Ponick's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Defensive zone win. Moving it to Brooks. Oh, broke it up. Cut off that pass at center ice. Matthews is tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Bears are boxed on a tripping minor. Plenty of good looks on the power play. They got to stay with the same game plan. I sure agree, Eddie. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. And it's held. Under five minutes played here in period two. We are at two goals apiece. Nice face-off win. And that pass was just off. And so everybody has to go back. Directing that one to right. Blue line control. Good intercept in his own end. Puck grab. What's next? Oh, that was close. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Rides the line. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. He's got this one, and they're after him. And here we go. It'll be a Keep penalty it. shot. Well, the defensive player was trying to go for the puck on this breakaway opportunity, but clearly does not get the puck. It's all skates. Score! You fight so long in a tied game. Now you've got the game-breaking goal. What do you do with it? I think you attack. You try to get another one. Or at the very least, you don't let your opponent breathe. In with it now. He was outnumbered, but not outskilled. Buck needs to be first. Offside. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Tip to the net. Oh, pad stop on the redirect. In the slot. Score! He's got his second. The Bears here in the second period have a two-goal lead, and it's a huge lead on the shot board. They've won the faceoff. By number 43. To right. Wright's last goal was truly tremendously tremendous. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Play is stopped, and that well-worn track to both penalty boxes will be plowed through again. Matano's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. To Matthews. Now it's directed to Wilkinson. Shoots one. Stop! Another shorthanded goal. The 
the Sharks, with the scoring of that goal, have cut the lead in half. And still an entire period to play. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. A good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Wilkinson's tripped and a penalty should be coming. And this penalty will wipe out the power play. Ponick's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Good job on the draw. Couldn't get through and retain possession. Swipe that one in a critical place. That's terrific goaltending. Glove save, trapper save, doesn't matter, Doc. That was great. Attack zone possession here. Glove save. Nice. No team. The gloves are down, and payback begins. After what we just saw, this might not be the last time this happens. And out of all of this, both receive fighting majors. Both these guys are going to get a well-deserved rest after that scrap. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. It is a short power play, but it's a four on three, and it starts in the offensive zone. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Nice work done with the stick there. Shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Now that's a solid save. Driving in from no man's land. And play stops for, guess what, another penalty. Brooks is sent to the box for tripping. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. The Bears have faced a lot of penalty kills tonight, but they've been perfect so far. Oh, man, he's got to learn to stay out of the penalty box. You're not going to be in the league long if you continue to take penalties. Whistle is blown. And a man with guilt all over his face is going to the rocks. The Sharks get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Loose puck, not stick handled well there. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. The Bears' power play is over. They've had... Whatever the game plan was in both dressing rooms, it might have been to press offensively, but I'm pretty certain it wasn't to abandon defense. We've had a boatload of goals already. The referee has signaled a penalty shot. It's felt at various times like one team or the other would have a little bit of the upper hand. Doesn't matter anymore. We're back to 0-0. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Play is halted and we have yet another penalty call. Gilroy's going to the box and the call is tripping. The Sharks go on the power play again. Their percentage is not good, but there's always a chance on this one to improve. The Bears' penalty kill has gotten a workout, but still perfect. It doesn't even take much of a mistake, Doc, to get a scoring chance on a four-on-four. -four. One guy gets beat by a half a stride. It's game on. That buck is loose. A good defensive play. The Bears are skating it up in neutral ice. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Laid on to Wilkinson. Oh, broke it up. Got it back out of the zone. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. 
The Sharks' power play unit continues to be a bunch of offers. This is a brutal formula to try and stay in the game here. They've been shorthanded so many times, yet their penalty killers have answered the call every single time. Cut that pass in his own end. Save! And a hold and a whistle. Under three minutes to be played in the second. Entertaining contest so far. Eight goals have been scored for a piece. That move not too slick there. What a ripper from the point. Save there. Pitching it to Alfredson. Steals it in the attacking zone. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. Dogged determination there by Nash. The Bears are driving it from the wing. Made that work for him in goal. Nash has got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Hey, fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes from the arena for our signed jersey. Lockhart's enormous save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period, and he gets a rest. And so do we as we head to break. premiering tonight in the EA Sports Hockey League. Let's see what develops. Underway in the third period, this game is tied. Linesman's job, and he did it offside. They won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Pitching this one to Brooks. Heads on behind. A great speed bump set up there. Out of their own end, hanging on to it. And that is an offside. Got the draw. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Great job in his own end with that interception. That puck is free. Went off somebody. Score! It's a hat trick. The Bears have gotten a one-goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two, or do they just try to protect this? Neutralized face-off win. Steps in from the neutral zone. Toward the net. Score! The Bears have struck for another goal. They've built a two-goal lead here early in the third period. All of hockey life is timing, and theirs is terrific. Slid to Brooks. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance.
And that's a face-off win. Solid neutralized poke check. Stole that pass away in his own end. Looking to Alfredson. Puck loose, denied by the defense. Fires, deflected off the blocker. Loose puck due to the play by Ponick. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. And play is stopped again. And I'm almost out of ink on this penalty sheet. Wilkinson's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. To number 31, Wilkinson. Two to Matthews. Matthews has been an effective player in this game. He's got two assists, even though his team is down by a few goals. Whistle is blown, and the guilty party heads off the ice. Lewis has a minor penalty here, and the call is tripping. Clean win on the draw. Passing one off now to Brooks. And he gains the zone. Say, just threw it into his pad there. An enormous hit. That is a huge hit. Terrific opportunity, but a missed pass, and so they have to drop back. Nice away. Takes that pass. Nice work by Richardson. He got his glove on that one. Throws it. Amazing save. Tries to clear. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. The Sharks power play has been a failure again. Nobody asked for pictures. Shoot the puck, crash the net, and you get a goal once in a while. You pass it around the outside and never shoot. Looks great. Never happens. The Sharks in their own end. Lug that puck along. Got it in his own end. Pass attempt to Richardson. Good defensive play. Possession changes. Read that play in his own end. A successful clear. That puck came back to center ice, and so everything slows down for just a bit. Down to rinkside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? Hat tricks don't come along very often, so you better enjoy it. Now he's got one here. He's not missed as we look back at his night. It is just another in a long line of outstanding games for him, Ray. And they take that neutral zone face off. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Ponick's got two minutes for interference. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. A tremendous glove save. Save and a cover. And here's Ray. Wright's had a real good passing night. His vision has been excellent. He's found the open teammate at the right time. Ray, he's certainly one of the three stars in my book. Over seven minutes to go in the third period. With the scoring of that goal, the lead now is three. The defense was in the way. Loose pop. Takes it right back. Got that one ahead at center ice. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. One face off. Now what? That puck came free. Could have been handled. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Oh, he put it in his own net. It counts against him. The Sharks have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Good stick presence by Alfredson. And he's hit again and hard. He's got a target on his back. Puck out of the zone and the attackers regroup. Icing is called. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Guys, it doesn't matter how many chances you have. If you can't hit the net, you're never going to score. What do they say, Ray? Without bad luck, they'd have no luck at all in this one. A big win. Let's see what happens. And 
to pick up. All a part of generating an offense, a little pass off from the goal. The Sharks are lugging it back through the defensive end. Looks ahead to start something. Terrific charging down the ice. He won the race. Play continues. It's a hat trick. And here they come flying out of the stands. Just under three minutes remaining in the third. So the scoring of that goal makes this a three-goal lead. Can they make it four? Or will the pressure wilt the game? Wonderful poke check. Gathered up again by Alfredson. Really good job by the defenseman there. Matthews is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Brooks gets his name on the penalty sheet, a tripping minor. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. And a save! Two players came to the boards, boom! Sometimes you think you've got more room, but he got closed off in a hurry. That is a big hit. Keeps and covers. win of the draw. The Bears continue to probe up the wing. Muscled off. We are in the last minute. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. Puts on the moves. Oh, what a stop. The goalie puts that mitt to use and takes it away. Can he make him chase it? it picked up. That's an offside. Nice face-off work. Trying to go to Matthews. Snapping a pass to Alfredson. Terrific determination by Ponick. Leads that charge into the zone. Let's it go. Score! It's his third goal of the game. A hat trick. Short-handed goals are like a strike of lightning. You just don't expect them. When they come, they can be devastating. And they've won the faceoff. Crosses that line. Drives ahead. An absolutely remarkable save. He didn't buy all of those moves. Solid clean win. Ponix tripped up. That should be a penalty. What a tremendous hit. It's been a bumpy road for them all night long, but this is a big hit designed to maybe turn things around a little bit on a team that's had a bad night. And that's this one. Don't know if the turning point in this was at the anthem or shortly thereafter. Not much of a game for one team. I think it was when the puck dropped tonight. It was not their night right from the start.